All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is your guy Fenrir. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and do another unboxing video. And today, like I did mention, taking a break from that flesh and blood, and we're gonna go ahead and do Demon Slayer. So I don't know exactly what set this is from because I know there's like a stained glass set and uh, some of the more like uh, fan artish style of Demon Slayer. So it's kind of shows some of the possible cards we could get. Um, so I'm still going to look to see kind of like exactly what set this is, but overall you can see on the top, right? 36 packs. I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming five cards as well per pack. So it's going to be pretty fun. It's something different, something new, something, uh, different from just your standard flesh and bloods that I have or Pokemon It's like, come on, tell me how many, how many people have really opened like a demon slayer pack or box? I mean, so uh hopefully it's like we pull some fire because i i to be honest i don't know what you could get in this so ah uh, great cool 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 and this is why you don't trust me with boxes there we go at least do it like this so it looks good come on orale there we go. So, alrighty, there we go. So, promotional card, I'm assuming, or like, oh, this actually looks really nice. Let's see. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Now, what's inside? Yo, okay, is there something on, th there is, okay, I don't want to mess this up anymore, so <laughs> I will figure this out a little bit later, exactly how to do it and see the other images into it without breaking it or ripping it apart, so, let's see, so yeah, as I said, I feel it to be about five cards each pack. So let's get started. <clears throat> Come on. Orale. Oh, okay. Just stick to what I know on how to open packs. All right. So, I mean, in the sense, I don't know if there's a specific way to do this or. So, let's see what we get. So, we got a rare Giyu. Nice, super rare. Nice foil to it. Okay, so it looks like it's about four rares and maybe a super rare and above. So this should be pretty fun. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm probably not going to remember everyone's name in the anime. Like, it's been a while since I've seen it. I probably remember some of the main characters or some of the bigger name characters. I probably will not remember all. So, please, I apologize. Please don't get mad at me if you're a huge Demon Slayer fan. There we go. Okay, so, flipping it around, it's the one rare, then the super rare, and then more rares behind it. Then we got Giyu. Super rare Giyu. I need to try to figure out as well where... Oh, look, just copy right there. <clears throat> so I need to figure out where I can see values of these cards because I mean aside from just the artwork and the style of foil that it uses it's really cool and it, I mean it looks like it has like an attack score and a defense score possibly so maybe Yu-Gi-Oh style all right so let's do this so one two three bring it there so, oh, this asshole. And then the rare card. Okay, so I think, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, I've kind of lost my voice too. Yesterday went to the Twice concert. Oh, it was amazing. Okay, so the top right kind of already implicates who the super rare is. It's just a matter of it's that, if it's higher than a super rare or not. Okay, cool. 
So good to know, good to know. We got Nezuko. Oh, there's going to be a lot of freaking packs. So, is it all of them that have... Okay, so it is every single one that on the top right it has what character they are. Okay. Nice. And then it looks like the the base rare cards are pretty much limited. So I'm assuming this is just this is just first season. So I'm assuming this is maybe first set. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know if any any of you guys watching my videos, if y'all went to the Twice concert both May 14th and 15th, so yesterday and the day before for when this video is going to get posted up. Oh my god, it was amazing. I love it. Might post the videos on or some shorts on where I was seated and stuff. I I mean, it wasn't too hot of a seat, but overall, I really did enjoy myself at the concert, so Okay, we got... Who is that on the top right? Nezuko? It is. All right. Got their mom. Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. His, his, his name's slipping, slipping my mind. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, uh, because there's the Netsu, there's Inosuke, obviously there's, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking out, that or just the headache is killing me right now, Jesus Christ, no, nah, nah yeah, this is gonna kill me, this is gonna, I need to know now, I need to know the character Liz. Tanjiro, there we go. Jesus Christ. Nezuko, okay, cool. So we got Tanjiro, rare. Nezuko, rare. Okay, that's a nice super rare. Got it. Uh, there's siblings, rare, super rare. Nezuko and Tanjiro. And then this is. What? Is this kind of like a token card? Probably is. That's a nice full foil. <clears throat> so I think the biggest cards for this set, kind of like I showed on the side, is the all black card, full full art black cards. I've seen a couple of them being posted and sold and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that's what we're aiming for here. So we got the... X Water Hashira, who trained Tanjiro and Giyu. We got this asshole, who was buff all of a sudden. The other two siblings. And then Nezuko, again, her sleeping with the other two siblings, as I'm assuming the token card. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. So this is going to be kind of a slow pack opening because I'm still trying to figure out exactly what these are or like which one's which. Because as I, you guys can tell, I don't speak Japanese. We got Nezuko. We got Tanjiro. We got this one again, Tanjiro. And this asshole um, who's picking on the, the small girl during the, the exam when there were five of them that only survived. And it's him again in the SR. Yay! Overall, I love the anime. It's like, I, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, I do probably need to rewatch it. I love Mugen Train. Um, is it Mugen? Mugen Train. Uh, Ring Goku would have been so cool to keep. We got the siblings fight after the fight. Giro. Is that his name? A uh, Giyu. Apologies. The monster. And then Zenetsu. After like he actually becomes serious a bit. Let's 
see. Who is this? Oh, that's the that was the one pre before Tanjiro. The student. Do you Nezuko with the third oldest sibling of the family? And then the twins again. So yeah, I think this is all just first uh first season slash like first set cards. Cause I haven't seen any of Rengeku. Uh nothing uh I mean there might be an Inosuke card because didn't he show up in the first season? So hopefully I I yeah, for me uh Nosuke is my favorite character. Uh the scenes when he was training him even though he was technically dead. Nezuko almost killing Tanjiro. And then Nezuko again. With Giyu base, I'm assuming token card once again. Favorite fight so far from Demon Slayer? I would have to say, <clears throat> um, what's his face? Ten, uh, Tengen or Tengen versus uh, the low, the sixth upper six, upper six moon monster uh, demon. Oh, what's her name? I really like her, Kano. She's really cool. I really like her. I, I like how Tanjiro helps her out and figuring out how to make a damn decision for herself. Jesus. Live up to your name, girl. You didn't get taken in by the... What was it? It was the fl flower Hashira? The older sister of uh, Shinobu? I think that's her name. Giyu. The younger uh, middle siblings, Tanjiro, and then another Tanjiro when he sees the purple plants. I forgot the name. God, has it been that long since I've seen Demon Slayer? All right, adding it back to my watch list. I'm excited for the third season uh, with both the Mist. Is it the Mist Hashira? And then the Love Hashira. I heard apparently though that a bunch of people are petitioning the hot tub scene of the love Hashira, so that's fun. I find it weird though. I actually know it makes sense that the love that the love tree or love skill tree evolved from the fire, fire skill tree, probably or the fire Hashira. And look at that, we got Tanjiro again. Is there any guarantees for a major hit? I don't know. I mean, there's 36 packs, so that's 180 cards. So it's a possibility it's one hit per pack of SR or higher, as I could see here, or at least foil sense. Uh, is it anything big? Probably not. And these two are stuck together. Oh, it's this asshole. I hate this monster. I hate how much he gloats of killing Tanjiro's predecessors. It's so annoying. I felt so bad for the master, and especially when Tanjiro said to, to thank uh, those two. So let's see. Tanjiro practicing, Tanjiro eating, and it's this guy again. I don't want to learn his name. I don't want to remember his name. Straight asshole. I mean, how well will he do in the anime? Because I think he is the student of the... What is it? The Rock Hashira or Stone Hashira? <clears throat> the one with like the major defense. Tanjiro Cole, Nezuko, and Tanjiro after training for so long. Where he has the weirdest hair, long hair possible. <clears throat> like his great, great ancestor, the Sun Hashira. For those of you that haven't seen the second season yet, I apologize. I'm I'm just pulling out of my butt based off kind of like what I've seen so far. So don't take my words to heart. Oh, that's nice. What was he fighting here? Nice foil. All right. <clears throat> like there's no real order that I'm trying to do this in. I'm just 
uh this is like the very first pack box of demon slayer that i've ever opened up i wanted to get a stained glass box but i can't seem to find where i could get one uh the stained glass the stained glass cards look really sick here's the x water hashira before giyu if i do get a chance to to find one i'll definitely be excited to open it on the channel uh that way we could possibly pull a rengoku the all-time best Hajira. <laughs> Mr. Donut Man. There we go. Now we got what? Yeah, we got all five. All five of the same family tree, technically. Or under the same school for the water, water breathing technique. <clears throat> or I think we need the girl, right? The one that uses the dual blades. The one where she got horribly freaking dismembered by that one big monster during the training event. Or demon. Oh, upside down. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay. So this is what we're looking for. Holy dang, that's actually a really nice full art. Jesus Christ. And it's Shinobu too. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's go ahead and sleeve this. The texture feels really nice, too. Bam. So as you can see, really nice card. And then what is, oh, it's this guy. Eh, we don't care. We do not care. <laughs> Yeah, Shinobu. Okay, cool. I, I I mean, am I pronouncing it correctly? Probably not. But at least I am saying it as best as I possibly can. Nezuko. The Master. This guy. <gasps> Rengoku! Let's go! Oh, and it's a ZR too. Okay, so that's... I'm Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. I got Rengoku. For all my Rengoku fans out there. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's his hair. Okay, that's just his hair. Yo, why does he look so freaking terrifying in this? Okay, so there is a little bit of a pattern when it comes to the ZR cards. When it comes to the pack opening portion of it. So, oh, that looks so cool. And then we got him. <laughs> Why is that pack upside down? I don't like that. I don't like that it's upside down. Oh, does it come on? There we go. Tanjiro, Nezuko, the little brother, and then Giyu, SR. All right, I guess we're back to the SRs, guys. This pack, these packs are upside down, why? That's a weird way of having them. Let's see. Nezuko. Okay, this one is stuck. It's another Shinobu. So, bam. So, another Shinobu. Yo! Holy shanks! That is beautiful. Oh my god. Come on, can I focus? Holy dang, whoever came up with this artwork is amazing. Holy dang. Now, my question is, what's rare, the ultra rare or the ZR? Because I think the ZR is more is rare in order. Because, I mean, there's super rare, there should be ultra rare. And then, I mean, I don't know what the Z stands for. But, holy dang. All right, let's continue checking the upside down packs. Because apparently, these are good luck.
and easier to open too. All right, Tanjiro. That little girl. So this this is the girl I'm talking about. The other one. Uh, she's I think in the anime she's the one at before Tanjiro, before the Water Hashiro gave up on training and sending kids to their death. Another Tanjiro card. We got another, I'm assuming, ultra rare, as you can see on the top. The scene where he kicks him off the waterfall. All right. It's a Giyu for all you Giyu fans. And it is an ultra rare. Holy damn. So I feel like people misunderstand Giyu. It's not that he's awkward or an asshole and has no friends. He just doesn't need them. There we go. Oh, there's no more upside down. Okay, so for some reason, yeah, the upside down ones. Is there anything else upside down? No. Okay. So I'm assuming these, these packs were specifically for those, and that's why they were upside down. Oh, well, I mean, this pack opened up really nicely. So let's see. Nah, yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Hey. Let's go. Holy sh Never judge. Is that Nezuko? That is Nezuko. Holy. Okay, so we got UR, we got SRs, we have ZRs, and now we have SSR. I think this is the full art one that I was talking about, kind of like that black card style. Holy shit. I mean, hit wise, this is amazing. It's like. Yo, look at everything we got in. So we got Nezuko SSR, Giyu UR, Shinobu UR, Rengoku ZR, and then another Shinobu ZR. The ZRs look beautiful. These are just outstanding. And then now we got this full art face. Face art. Holy damn. Is this a successful box opening? Maybe. Okay, see, now the packs got harder to open again. All right. And then as you go. <gasps> what the? F okay. So to kind of show, these are the cards. And look at that. The left one right there. We just literally pulled it. Okay. Great. Uh, I don't want to touch it so much. Ah, don't touch it so much. Don't touch it so much. Holy damn. Do I know what it's worth? Probably not. Will I find out? Most definitely. But holy sh First ever box of Demon Slayer, guys. And I pull this. I don't know what's up with my luck with, like first box of any type of tcg that i open but if you guys do check out my first ever flesh and blood uh flesh and blood box of uh un the unlimited version i ended up pulling the rarest card in that set which is the great library of solana so if interested please check that out guys i would really appreciate it but yeah it's just, i don't know i have first box i have first box opening luck over here okay we got a tanjiro that is a pretty sick stance let okay come on what the okay yeah i know i really got to look up what is what is the hit rate on this cuz this can't be real right another gr i'm assuming that's a g Look at that. That's sick.
and then more Tanjiro, and then his master. I think I'm about to get more hit cards than I did SR cards. All right, we got Miss Nezuko. Another Shinobu card. Yo, what? Okay, yeah, no, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm starting to think now that these aren't that big of a hit, and I'm kind of sad. <laughs> You're telling me I got one of each one of these so far in three packs. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's like, like I did say, if it is just based off the first season, then I understand there won't be that many, like, card variations. But come on. Jesus, let's go. I need to reach out to the person that sold me this box and thank them. Because holy dang. All right, back to token. Is that Inosuke? What? No way. No fucking way. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to cuss. I'm, I, I'm trying to keep the cut. But look how gorgeous that looks. I'm pretty sure, yeah, either this is one of the luckiest boxes or the hit rate is l high, really high on this one. So, one, two, three, wait, I'm sorry, I'm counting the star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, so these are rare, are higher <clears throat> are higher in grade and then the ultra rare one two three four five six seven eight nine ten as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nani okay all i'm hoping for now is in the gr in the gr sets we get a rengoku if we could get a Rengoku, I'll be happy. So we got Tanjiro there. Okay. Yo, look at that art style. It's Tanjiro. And in the SSR. Come on. There's no... Like, this has to be... This this set has low hit rate. I mean, high hit rates. Because I've... There's... I'm speechless. I'm extremely spe speechless right now. I wish I was playing music for this. Because holy shit. I need, to I need to look this up. There's no way. So far, like, the last... Six packs, five packs, I've gotten a hit. A big hit. SSR or above. Yeah, because all the base cards are the same. So it's... I don't know. I don't know, guys. Someone let me know. Please, someone let me know. Because I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy for the cards. I'm very happy for the hits. But I'm just like... Does it really make me feel special? And another one. Okay. Look at that. And I think this is... Who is this? This is the... This is the I think this is the girl that got trained before Tanjiro that got killed. There's no way on this. And it's all the bottom packs too. It's not it's not like this is, was all spread out. This is all the bottom packs. So whoever whoever at whatever company is making these cards, whoever was responsible in 
setting, switching up the packs and stuff like that did a very bad job. Let's see who we get this time. Because I have a feeling we're going to continue this. Oh, okay. That is the upper moon. Is that... Yeah, this is the this is an upper moon, right? This is the upper moon they fought in the entertainment district. Okay. Jesus Christ, it's hit after hit, my All right, I think I got three more packs left, and I'm I'm gonna be angry if we don't get at least one Red Goku SSR, or at least in the black in the black backdrop design. And it's what's her face, Kanao. Yep. Oh, and they chose pink for the outline. That is awesome. That fits her perfectly too. Okay, why don't I feel good with this sleeve? There we go. There we go. That looks really nice. All right, last two packs, guys. If I can get them out. There we go. <clears throat> I'm still waiting to see one Rengoku one because Rengoku my, was my all-time favorite character. Uh, his ideals, instead of just being the strongest and stuff like that, it was just like taking care of other people. So we got Nezuko. What is this? Okay, uh, we'll keep that to the side. Wow, okay, so this one did not come with any type of super rare or above. It was all rares, except for the backdrop on this one. So I'll keep that to the side. Last pack magic, guys. Let's hope, let's get that Rengoku. Rengoku, Rengoku. All right, we got Nezuko. And we got cheated. All right, so the last two packs were just all rares. Uh, this one has this background onto it, so I'm assuming it's not really nothing since it's the second one. So I could just put this one back. All right, guys. So just to kind of show, to go over. So 30 packs, 36 packs in all. Yeah, 36 packs in all. So kind of like going through the super rares real quick. Very nice foil to them. I like how they use scene the actual scenes pictures of for each card. This one's probably my favorite one of all, all the S the SRs. And then the SSR and above. So one Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen packs gave me an SSR, a UR, or a ZR card. Like, what the hell? Probably my favorite one is between Tanjiro and Shinobu for the GRs. Oh, and, yeah, uh, Kanoa, Kanoa, SSR, looks really nice. Like, the pink really highlights it for me. And then, obviously, the Upper Six Moon from Entertainment District. Who is this, is my question. I feel like this is the girl that got trained before Tanjiro, but the, her, her outfit's different. And Tanjiro himself in a hoodie. 
out of everything. Inosuke, which I'm pretty happy for. And then, uh, what's afraid? Nezuko. There we go. All right, guys. So that is today's box opening. I do apologize. I was kind of slow on it. Like I did say, it's like this is my first time ever opening a Demon Slayer box. Like I did say, I'm assuming this is the first set. This is the first set for this. And if I do get the chance to get a, the stained glass ones, I will definitely, definitely let you guys know uh, overall. But thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. I truly do appreciate it. If you did enjoy all these box openings and me just being surprised as hell and speechless on everything we pulled once again, leave a like, guys. Shoot a comment on which one of these is your favorite so far. If you like more of the ZRs because of the full art back design on them, the ultra rares because of how much detail is put into them, or any of the SRs and GRs. Let me know, guys. I truly, I uh, truly appreciate. It. I do want to hear what you guys think and like. Uh, aside from that, like I did mention, guys, I will probably be selling these cards on my Macari page under Fenrir sells cards. Uh, I might keep a couple of them as a personal collection cards, uh, but we shall see. I'll think about it. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, check it out, guys. I do fairly fair prices for them. Uh, so if any of you are interested in them, you can always reach them out here on YouTube it's, and I, I'll, I'll single it out just for you. Uh, aside from that thing, guys, like I did say, leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you, if you like what you see as we open. Uh, I want to get excited and join me on this journey and trying to collect as many cards as we can or pull some of the best cards we can. Uh, and at the same time, uh, leave a comment, guys. Shoot those comments. Let me know what you guys want, want, want to see me get and open. That way, overall, I try to hit as many TCG products as possible. Uh, stay safe, guys. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Truly do appreciate you. Peace.